If you don't have the perfect racing line, you won't be able to travel through a corner at the maximum speed and you'll be leaving lots of time on the table. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips as to how you can improve your racing line no matter what sim you're using, so you can become faster and more consistent when racing. Hi, I'm Scott Mansell, head coach from Driver61 Sim Racing, where we teach you to better your technique, win races so you can fulfill your driving ambitions. So some common mistakes with racing line is that the driver will turn into the corner too early, they could miss the apex, or probably the most common mistake is that they try to get out of the corner too quickly, end up running out of road and then having to lift on the way out of the corner, which then obviously affects their speed all the way down the following straight. Now we're on board here in a Ferrari 488 uh, at Monza and this is some footage that I've been sent from one of our subscribers so thank you very much. Um, actually his racing lines are absolutely fantastic so I'm using this video as a good example to show you um, how we should be driving the car through a corner and how we, how we can actually carry more speed. So I won't explain too much about the racing line. We all understand that you need to go from the outside of the corner to the apex and to the exit. The problem that we have is that most drivers aren't giving themselves enough time um, or enough information to understand um, how they should be driving that car through the corner. So the biggest problem is that a driver won't be looking far enough ahead of themselves when they're on track. This means that the information is coming at them too quickly and too late, and so they can't judge how to turn the car through the corner. So here we are um, coming through the first chicane at Monza. Now, to get the racing line right, first of all, we need to make sure that we're using um, our peripheral vision initially for a braking reference. Okay, so you can see here that we've got the, the marker boards on the outside of the circuit. Uh, we've also got the change in, in color on the barrier here. These are all points that you can use to find your braking point. Now here at Monzo, that's probably too late, especially in this big heavy GT car. However, you know, there's, there's other markers back up the road that you can be using. But in terms of racing line, what we need to be doing here is also having some attention on the outside of the track so that we um, are running the car up to the white line and actually using all of the track on the outside. Now the important thing here is that we are actually in fact looking down at the apex of the corner. We do want to have some kind of peripheral attention on the outside of the, of the corner here and you can see in this example the driver is, uh, is eking out every inch of track by just allowing the car to go on this entry curb on the outside which is painted green. So if you do um, have that available in a corner, you should try and use it. In real life, in, re in, in the real world racing, um, these entry curbs, when they're tarmac and, and painted with a little bit of sand in them, they actually have a, a little bit more grip than the tarmac itself, so it's a double bonus there. So we wanna be looking down at the apex here and then bringing our vision to the outside of the circuit and then back to the apex. So what we're trying to do is triangulate our position as we're coming down into the corner so we can understand how much speed we're carrying in and whether the car is positioned properly and visualizing the line through the corner. So we still have our, our vision down at the apex here as we wind the car forward, still at the apex, still at the apex here. And then as we're coming in here, immediately as it comes into view, we should have our vision down here. At the, at the next apex. Now, what's interesting here is we're still turning right while we've got our vision over to the left-hand side. And this is something that some drivers can struggle with. Um, obviously, if they're looking down into the left here, that they sometimes want to just drive down to the apex. That means that you're kind of straight lining across the chicane in a situation like this. And it means that um, you won't be using all of the road on the right to open up the corner into the left. Once you've got the car into the into the second apex here we need to be looking around the corner as much as we possibly can because we need to understand when we can get back on the accelerator pedal and drive this car out of the chicane here and down the next straight so it's critically important that you follow the outside of the track um, here so that you understand the position of the car 
and we're allowing the car now to run to the outside of the kerb, just here. So, as we're following the, the, the car here on the lap, we're, I'm going to show you where you should be looking. So we should be looking all the way up here towards the outside of the, the track. Coming into the second chicane, so a bit of peripheral here, but then we're looking down at the apex, back to the outside, apex, next apex, exit out here, and away we go. So you can see there that it's a good step forwards. And when, when you do this, you'll find that the racing line will come naturally. You may have noticed in this video so far, I haven't actually spoken too much about these specific points where we turn in, where we apex, where we exit. Because if you have your vision in the right place and it's a step in front of where the car is in that moment, you'll be giving yourself the information at the right point. And the racing line for most people just comes naturally. The racing line is pretty much the easiest way through the corner. You know, we're trying to make the arc through the corner as open as we possibly can because that means that we can carry more speed. You know, the wider the arc, the more speed we can carry through there. And uh, I've found with the hundreds of drivers that I've coached that they understand this, you know, the brain understands that we need to find the, the easiest way through the corner. And so if we just give them the right information from the track, then we figure it out and we actually carry more speed uh, through a corner on the perfect racing line. The other thing that you need to consider when you're thinking about the racing line is how the weight moves around the car. If you're coming into a bend and the car finds the limit in a very short period of track, say at the outside of the corner. So for example, in this footage, if we're coming through the corner here and the car was actually a little bit wider around here and then on the outside of the corner we had to add in some more steering angle, so we're pushing the car over the limit only in the, the last part of the corner, then you need to reconsider your racing line. What we want to do is distribute what we're asking from the car through the whole corner, which then means that you're carrying the maximum speed all the way through there. So now you understand about the racing line, check out this short playlist that I've put together just for you to really amplify your learning and make you faster in sim racing. It includes tutorials on trail braking, vision, weight transfer, and everything that you need to be a faster sim racer. Check it out and I'll see you in the next video.